This short video will help explain how you write the geological setting or explain the geological setting of Napa Scar in your plan. Now, if you go to the Geology Rocks website, and here there's a link, as you see here, a link to the regional geology map. If you click, then this map comes up. Now, this is a map, a regional geology map of the whole of northern Britain, and it has the key up here, which has got the geological periods in order and some of the rocks are named as well. Now, where we were was down in the bottom corner, so we were down here. Right, the exact spot that we were at, if I expand it a bit more, a bit more, there we go, was about here, just above the Sea of Craven. And we're actually on the boundary. This is a line around here, um, a boundary, which I'll highlight that boundary there. Okay, of which, remember, our location was just there. So this boundary is the boundary between these rocks here, which, if you look back at the key, The Carboniferous, there we go, so look at the key, the Carboniferous Limestone series, and the grey rocks underneath are the Ordovician and Silurian rocks. So if you're describing the geological setting of Napa Scar, you would say that it's on the boundary between the Carboniferous Limestone rocks here and Ordovician and old, much older Ordovician Silurian rocks here. Now, this boundary we've just drawn in cuts across all the rocks beneath and is known as an unconformity. So you could say Napa Scar is on an unconformity. You can see it's a curved line that cuts across all the layers beneath. Now, this area, all the Ordovician Sinai rocks are very old and are surrounded by young rocks. Now, this is known as an in liar. Okay, an in liar is an area of old rocks surrounded by younger rocks. Don't forget this boundary is an unconformity. Okay, and it's seen over this wide area here. Now the other features of the area is to the south is this fault line here. This is a east-west trending fault line known as the Craven Fault. The other information is, if I go to another map, there's another map now, you can see here there's there's the fault line we've seen, right, where the sea is is where Napa Scar is. There's a block, what's known as a block here, All right, there's a trough here, another block here, there's actually another trough here. So if I was to draw, um, there's a fault line here, there's a fault line here, a fault line here. There's not one shown, but there should be one here. It's not shown on. And what you have then is what's known as a block here. So this is a block B. This is a trough. This is a block. This is a trough. And there's a trough on this side. Now. All these faults go east-west, and we're separating blocks, troughs, and blocks. And I'll show you what that, that means. You can draw a little cross-section to show what that means. So let's go back. If I was to draw a cross-section, um, say, through from, let's say, from here down through to here, so A to B, a cross-section through these, one trough to fault and block, fault and a trough. What would this look like? So if I was to draw that, I'd have my um, A here going to B over here. And if you remember, we have, you can sort of so put it there so you can see it, we have this fault line here. If I draw that in, so do the surface, as the surface from A to B. This fault line, the Craven fault, is going like this. The trough, 
other side. So this is the, the trough. This is the Craven Fault. Here this side has gone down. And in this part is what's known as the Ascrig block. That's the block. And you can see that's called the Ascrig block. So this is my same point here. To the north of that is another fault. So if I draw that fault on, that's going like this. And if I put the arrows on, this side of the fault's gone up. This side's gone up because it's a block. It's all gone up. And this side must have gone down. Now this block fault line must have gone up like this in the past. And the surface would have been up here like a big block. On the other side here is a trough. And you can imagine what happens here. There would be another fault down here. This has gone down. This has gone up. So you can see it's a series, a series of blocks that have gone up. And a series of troughs that have gone down. And if you put the geology in. The limestone is... The limestone on here, these are all the limestone areas that we were looking at, and underneath is the steeply dipping shales and slates and things that are now exposed at the surface. And Napa Scar, Napa Scar was is here, there, okay. Either side is also limestone, these are all the limestone layers over here in the troughs and what you have is a regional geology map from north here all the way to the south down this map here and that is the geological setting of Napa Scar.